Number 32. A parallel beam of light containing orange and violet wavelengths goes from fused quartz to water, striking the surface between them at a 60 degree incident angle. What is the angle between the two colors in water? So also for further practice, check out number 31. There's a very, very similar problem there. All right. So um, here on the top, there's fused, uh, fused quartz. And then on the bottom, we're talking about water. Um, so these values are gotten, by the way, from your... Uh, table 25.2. All right, so we need to know the indices of refraction for uh, all of them in the different mediums. Um, you can also know this little pattern that anytime you go from a higher, this is the incident side, this is the refracted side, anytime you go from a higher incident uh, index of refraction to a lower, uh, the uh, rays will always bend away, okay, from the normal, just like I have, and then the, vi the opposite would be true. All right, if we were to go the other way, they would bend towards the normal. So here they told us the angle in here is going to be 60 degrees, right? So now let's just calculate this for, it doesn't matter which one we choose. Why don't we do the purple first, okay? So um, we use Snell's law that the uh, index of refraction for the incident ray multiplied by the sine of that angle of incidence will be equal to the index of refraction for the refracted ray multiplied then by the sine of the refracted angle. So I want to find this purple refracted angle. And why do we want to do that? Well, again, the whole question is about finding the uh, angle between the two here. So maybe if I can find the reflected, uh, refracted ray of the purple and the refracted ray of the orange, well, maybe I can just subtract the difference. That's all it is. So divide this now by the refracted rays index of refraction and then take the inverse sine of both sides because you got to get rid of that sign there. You want just theta. Okay, so the inverse sign here on the left, that would then cancel this, right? And just clean it on up a little bit, fix your theta. And there we go. There's the formula. So now all you have to do is basically just plug in the numbers. So the index of refraction for the incident ray is over here for the purple, right? For the violet, 1.468 multiplied then by the sine of 60. Okay, all then divided by the index of the refracted ray. So here it's 1.4, excuse me, 1.342. And that's going to be equal to my refracted ray's angle. So let's calculate it, okay? So take out the calculator, make sure you're in degree mode, inverse sine of 4. Uh, what? 1.468, my God. Sine of 60, I swear I'm losing my mind. Uh, divided by then 1.342. And I get a value of about 71. Notice how it bent away. The angle here is greater, 71.32. All right. And then for the orange one, it'd be the same exact calculation, except you're going to change two of the numbers. Okay. This number is not, this is, remember, the index of refraction for the incident ray. It is now 1.456. So this is 1.456. The refracted run one is now 1.332. And you're literally going to redo that calculation, okay? So inverse sine or second sine of 1.456 times then the sine of 60 divided by 1.332. Close those parentheses. And here you get a value of about 71.199, right? Notice how it's a little less, okay? That's exactly what the picture depicts. So, and we talked about that already, why that is. So now, <clears throat> what's the difference? We'll just subtract the two, okay? So just take the two angles, subtract them, find the absolute value in case you get a negative number, it doesn't really matter. But the difference now, I'll call it theta sub d, is gonna be equal to 0 0.123 degrees, right? That's the difference. That's the angle between them in the water. Guys, thanks for tuning in, all right? Check out some more of our videos. By the way, if you're taking camera pre-calculus, we're doing all the problems from the OpenStax books. Even if you're not using the OpenStax book, all the questions are basically the same. All right, you'll be doing rate laws, and you'll be doing all this, you know, calculating, you know, standard angles and all this stuff in pre-calc. So check out the book, find some similar problems, and there you go, problem solved. All right, I will see you in the next video. Take care.